So uh, uh, one question uh, that um, organizers of this meeting uh, wanted me to address is, what should a health worker in a village know about this topic? So there are a couple of things that um, I think is important, especially um, for those who are not working in academic centers. In terms of the uh, disease overall, I think it's important to uh, recognize that uh, there are several paradigm shifts that have occurred over the last few decades. First, we have moved from, a, uh, from the concept that preeclampsia is disease of theories, that preeclampsia is actually a syndrome, and that to uh, ultimate clinical presentation of hypertension and proteinuria, you can come several different ways. It can occur in a young woman without any cardiovascular risk factors, but it can also occur in somebody who has hypertension, diabetes, pre-existing cardiovascular risks. So that, that woman and her preeclampsia is not the same as preeclampsia in a young woman without any cardiovascular risk factors. Therefore, preeclampsia is really not a unique disease, but rather a clinical presentation of several different clinical scenarios. Uh, we also thought for years and decades that this is a disease of endothelium. There is a growing body of evidence suggesting that it's actually a disease of the podocyte and that proteinuria in preeclampsia is uh, um, uh, related to podocyte dysregulation and dysfunction, which ultimately later in life can translate into increased risk for renal disease. Also, uh, for a long time, it was uh, thought that uh, uh, preeclampsia is disease limited to pregnancy. Now we are fully aware that preeclampsia indeed represents, the history of preeclampsia represents a risk for future cardiovascular disease. With respect to management, uh, I think I already mentioned that uh, delivery uh, is um, um, the, still the mainstay of treatment, unfortunately, and is related in, in it, it's um, uh, associated with increased risk for prematurity. Diet control shows moderate benefit in preventive progression to severe hypertension for the mother, but it does not confer apparent uh, benefit to the fetus. However, it also does not pose a risk. So uh, treatment of hypertension in pregnancy should be relatively safe for the baby while mother can derive the risk, or can de de derive the benefit. New onset hypertension postpartum with neurological symptoms is possibility. Uh, we should not ignore postpartum preeclampsia because uh, these women may have catastrophic events because they are not appropriately managed and they should receive magnesium prophylaxis. So that would be a take home message for those who are practicing in the centers who don't have uh, 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 all of these uh, necessary subspecialty services um, that may help with um, uh, managing uh, these patients. Uh, I think that um, uh, uh, even uh, people who are practicing in uh, remote areas should recognize the fact that women with preeclampsia are at risk for future cardiovascular disease. In 2011, American Heart Association came with the guidelines for the prevention of cardiovascular disease in women and identified preeclampsia as a risk factor for future cardiovascular disease. And in 2014, they identified preeclampsia as the risk factor for stroke in babies. Uh, uh, what do we do for postpartum care? I think women with preeclampsia and hypertension in pregnancy should be screened for hypertension every six months to, uh, uh, or a year postpartum. Hyperlipidemia should be screened 12 weeks postpartum and post lactation. Diabetes, according to the guidelines for gestational diabetes. And with respect to um, lifestyle modifications, it would be uh, very important, particularly in this patient population, to encourage healthy lifestyle, to, to include uh, healthy diet, physical activity, and uh, 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 stop smoking. What should we tell a patient about this topic and what they should know? They should know that blood pressure needs to be monitored during pregnancy. Uh, uh, they should be advised of symptoms of headache, visual deficits, abdominal pain, which can be premonitory signs of preeclampsia, and they should bring these symptoms to the attention of the primary care provider immediately. 
uh, it's also very important both for patients and those who deliver their care that um, preeclampsia can occur after delivery and uh, that form of preeclampsia may be particularly dangerous because it's deceptive and uh, typically after delivery uh, neither uh, healthcare providers nor patients um, uh, 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 expect that to occur and the postpartum follow-up of blood pressure is absolutely indicated as these women are at higher risk for cardiovascular disease and hypertension later in life. 